in a pure metal, all of the atoms or ions are found in regular layers. What this means is that they are extremely soft. Because all the particles are in layers, they are able to easily slide over each other so the metal can be easily bent out of shape. For us, what this means is that pure metals are not very useful. Things like pure gold, pure iron, pure copper are extremely malleable. You can bend them too easily. So what we have to do is to turn them into alloys. In an alloy, there are different sized particles in the structure of the metal. And what they do is disrupt the layers. So now, if I were to try and slide, slide this layer, it, it would not be able to slide over here. And this means the metal is going to be much harder, or less malleable. One example of this is in um, iron. The iron we get from a blast furnace contains roughly 4% carbon. This means the um, um, blast furnace iron is extremely brittle. It can be smashed extremely easily. So what we need to do first off is remove this carbon, turn it into pure iron, and then we can turn it into a range of different alloys. If we were to add in a little bit of carbon, say around 0.2%, we get what's called low carbon steel. And this is um, quite malleable. Okay, it's not going to be exactly the same as this, but it will still be easily shaped and will not shatter as easily. It's not, not as brittle. If you have high carbon steel, this is going to be much, much stronger, um, but also more brittle, which means it can uh, shatter easily. I can also uh, mix the pure iron with uh, different metals, in which case I can form um, other types of steel, for example, stainless steel. Um, is a mixture of iron with a small amount of carbon and also um, some nickel and chromium. And as the name suggests, that type of uh, steel is not going to corrode. A large number of the metals we use on a day-to-day -day basis come from the part of the periodic table which is right in the middle. So this central section here, which are known as the transition metals, So this includes things like gold, things like titanium, things like copper, but even with these metals we generally need to alloy them uh, to make them useful. Two metals which you are expected to know a little bit more about are um, titanium and aluminium. And all the specification says is that you need to know that these two are extremely useful but they cannot be extracted using reduction. Aluminium is um, too reactive, you have to use electrolysis to extract aluminium from its ore. And titanium should be able to be extracted by reduction. However, it reacts, titanium itself reacts with carbon, which means it can't be extracted that way. So to extract these two, we have to use other methods uh, which require uh, more energy and are therefore more expensive. 